Assalamu alaikum, inshallah you're well guys. So today I want to speak about the Chartered Accountancy qualifications and address a generic statement, which is that the ACA qualification is better than the other Chartered Accountancy qualifications. And the reason I want to speak about this today is because from time to time, I often get messages from people who will say that they only want to study a particular qualification. And in most instances, it will be the ACA qualification offered by the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. To recap, there are four main accountancy bodies in the UK. You've got the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales who offer the ACA qualification. You've got the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants who offer the ACCA qualification. You've got the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants who offer the SEMA qualification. And then you've got the Institute of Chartered Accountants in Scotland who offer the CA qualification. There are other bodies out there, but we're going to focus on these four because they're the most popular within the UK. Now, the first area of confusion is caused by this term Chartered Accountant, which simply means an accountant who is qualified, competent, and has relevant experience. So everyone wants to become a chartered accountant, but technically speaking, only the members of the ICAW and ICAS bodies can call themselves a chartered accountant. This is because these two bodies have registered chartered accountant as a trademark, which basically means that they have exclusive use of that term. So when you speak to someone about becoming a chartered accountant or when you research online, you may be pushed towards the ICAW and ICAS bodies, which may then create that image that these two qualifications are better than the rest. Now, if you're a member of ACCA, you're a chartered certified accountant. And if you're a member of SEMA, you're a chartered global management accountant. Technically speaking, if you're a member of these bodies, you can't call yourself a chartered accountant. And this is where the confusion starts because people will often say, I don't want to study the ACCA because it doesn't make me a chartered accountant. So this contributes to why people sometimes think that the ACA qualification offered by the ICAW is the best qualification because it makes you a chartered accountant. Now, at this stage, you may be thinking, hold on a minute, you also mentioned the ICAS who offer the CA qualification. That also makes you a chartered accountant. And yes, it does. It's literally in the name, but people often forget that qualification. And the reason why is in the membership numbers. So I'm going to talk about membership numbers now. As at December 2020, I came across these in a very useful report published on the Financial Reporting Council's website. Inshallah, I'll leave a link to that report in the description below. Please do check it out. So as of December 2020, in the UK and Ireland, the ICAW had around 133,000 members. The ACCA had around 103,000 members. SEMA had around 85,000 members. And ICAS had around 20,000 members. That means that the ICAW is the most popular accountancy body in the UK and Ireland with more than six times as many members than the ICAS body. And because of that fact that it's the most popular body, it contributes to the image that the ICAW is the best qualification or the best body to be a member of, because you're more likely to come across a member like myself who's going to speak positively about them. Why would I spend years studying to pass some exams, gaining all that experience across three years, paying a membership fee every year to the ICAW to then just say, it's all right, it's not that great. Of course, I'm going to speak positively about the qualification. And if you've got over 130,000 members doing the same, it's going to create that image that it's the best qualification to have. On a side note, guys, membership numbers worldwide are a completely different story. So across the globe, the ACCA have around 230,000 members. The ICAW have around 158,000 members. SEMA with around 114,000 members. And ICAS have around 23,000 members. So worldwide, the ACCA is actually the most popular. Body. Now, does the trademark of the term chartered accountant and the fact that the ICAW has the most members in the UK and Ireland mean that it's better than the other accountancy bodies? The answer is, of course not. Now, since I've qualified, I've taken part in a lot of recruitment processes as an applicant, as an interviewer, as a hiring manager. And I can't recall one process where one accountancy qualification was valued over the other. It didn't matter whether you were ACCA qualified or ACA qualified, you were treated the same. Pretty much all of the job descriptions I've come across for 
post-qualified candidates have said a chartered accounting qualification or equivalent. So it doesn't matter whether you're ACCA or SEMA qualified, you're going to be on par with ICAS and ICAW members. It doesn't matter what term is trademarked by which body because the value of that trademark is determined by people and decision makers. The current situation is that all four of these organizations are seen as chartered accountancy bodies. Yes, they have different acronyms and different titles and different qualifications, but they're all very difficult to get into. You have to pass around a dozen exams. You have to have around three years of professional work experience, and you have to demonstrate a number of skills and ethics. Yes, they are different, but they also share many similarities. This is why hiring managers, in most instances, will view them in the same light. Yes, there will be some unconscious bias where someone like me who is ACA qualified may just assume that's the best qualification to have. But in most instances, the qualifications will be seen as equivalent to each other. Now, the only thing you should bear in mind when determining which qualification you want to pursue is dependent on which industry you want to go into, because depending on that industry, there are some qualifications which are more popular than others. For example, in practice, when you're working for, say, a top 10 accountancy firm, you will struggle to find SEMA members and students because less than 2% of SEMA members work in practice. In the SEMA qualification, there's less focus on tax and insurance, which are two very popular service lines in practice. And if your end goal is to open up your own accountancy firm or eventually become a partner at, say, one of the big four, you're going to be more suited to studying for the ICAW, ACCA or ICAS qualification. However, in industry, it's a completely different story because SEMA make up for around 70% of memberships in industry and commerce. So if you want to grow your career in industry, then it seems like the SEMA qualification is the more obvious shout. The last point I want to talk about, and I just want to be clear that this is my own personal opinion. It's not backed up by any data that I could find online. It's from my own experiences. And this is that I believe that the ACCA, ICAS and ICAW qualifications are more transferable to other industries than the SEMA qualification. Around three quarters of all SEMA members work in industry and commerce, and it's the same situation at TGX. They train their accountants in the SEMA qualification, and whenever I've seen anyone move on, it's always been to another role in industry. However, across my career, I've seen members from the other bodies transfer into different industries. So for example, practice to industry, to investment banking is another popular service line or into the public sector. But again, guys, I just want to reiterate that that's my own personal opinion. Although I don't think that the industry that you work in or the transferability of the qualification make one better than the other, I think it's something you should factor in when deciding on which qualification to pursue. But the key takeaway from this video, guys, is that regardless of which body you decide to pursue, you're going to be well respected and doors will open up for you. Inshallah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. As always, any questions or queries, please feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram.